Welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, this is the third installment of the reassembly of this uh, Seiko 6138 bullhead automatic chronograph. As you can see, the movement is uh, almost completely uh, rebuilt. We only need to reinstall the date ring and the uh, day ring and the um, dial and hands and then recase the movement into the case. Uh, this video will take only in consideration the rebuild and reassembly of the dials, of the dial and the hands, so bear with me and let's move on. The first step is to slightly unscrew the dial screws, there are two pieces and one is here and one is over there so I need to lift a little bit the movement from the holder so that I can have easy access to the screws there you go here you see the screws over there Now I can push back the movement inside the holder so that it sits tight and flush. Perfect. Now the next step is to take the driving wheel. Just that one. It needs a little bit of a clean from the stains of the liquid. Just a second. There you go, perfect. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be installed here, and to do that, I need to remove the screw that's in place. Just check, checking the position. A little bit under that. Okay, like so, which is great. So let's remove it again and proceed with the oiling.
right. Now the date finger. This is plastic parts that were already cleaned. The date finger and the day finger with its date driving wheel screw that I just removed. And let me check if you're watching this correctly. Yes, you are. So, the date finger, this is a plastic part. And goes like this, and then the day, day finger, sorry. I just suppose to go like this. And then you have the screw that holds everything together. if it's moving freely. It's a little bit tight. Maybe I've tied it too much. getting unscrewed. There is something wrong. Let me check an instruction manual. Why is it getting unscrewed? Okay, I'll just pause a moment. I'll be right back. So, welcome back. And this time I managed to discover an error that I made that the spring was supposed to be installed right away after the date, day, the date wheel. So, this is what I'm going to do right now. And for this, I had to remove the date dial guard and the day jumper as you can see so now I am just installing the date jumper which is this small part here this is supposed to be still here Like so, to avoid springing it off to the infinite and beyond, I'll hold it with some radical. There we go. And now.
Well, let's see if it works. It definitely does. Perfect. Now the intermediate wheel for day correction. This is supposed to go here. Now, the day star with dial disk. It has to be clean a little bit more. It's a bit ruined, but it does act to the character of the watch. But before installing it, I will put a little bit of Spring. And also
So here I am back again. After a small pause and I was talking about the misalignment of the dial specifically for the date and the day wheel and actually I managed to inspect a little bit more the dial itself and I found out that this is unfortunately not an original dial first it has been glued quite badly together as you can see there are two pieces there is the under dial that has the cutouts for the date and day wheel and the dials for the hour counting and the minute counting for the chronograph and then on top of it it has the normal dial that you see um, the black dial with the logo Seiko chronograph automatic the Suwa sign symbol there and the serial the model number for the dial itself which is it states Japan 6138 and then the serial is dash 0060T now why do I think that this is a redial or not an original one uh, simply because of the misalignment which could have been caused of course by the break of the uh, dial feet and then somebody tried to realign them correctly gluing them as you can see that the, the two holes here for the hour wheel they are not correctly centered one to the other but inspecting very very closely the Seiko logo it appears to be original but it is not it is not because it has something like a, a shadow underneath each and every single letter it's just like it has been stamped twice or during the stamping it slightly moved so it left a blur a, a small shadow underneath it I don't know if you can get what I mean. Also, chronograph has the same issue, and the word automatic also, especially by the letter C at the last, at the end of it. Um, there's also another thing that leads to me, leads to think that this is a, a, a redial. Apart the fact that it has been glued, it has some signs of glue here this white spot here I'll show you with a oiler here uh, but this the Japan 6138 marking is not perfectly centered with this minute markings here it's quite off to the left it should be perfectly centered as this I know that there's a cutout here for the date and date uh, indication but it should be a little bit more centered as long as I know correct me if I'm wrong the commenters and the video was was probably say that I'm wrong anyway I will proceed with the installation of the dial and it goes like that you see it moves because it doesn't have any dial feet of course okay and remember the misalignment I was talking about there is actually no misalignment it was just that the dial was a little bit glued off if you press on the dial too much the day ring just scrubs underneath it it is not smooth so you have to lift it out a little bit just to be smooth and precise click the date ring doesn't have this issue since the spring is stronger 
so it makes it click correctly and it doesn't scrub at all anyways so let's put it on Sunday today's date Saturday Sunday and today's March the third and now with the dial pads which I still have to find So these are the, the dial pads that will go in between the dial and the dial holding ring and they will lift it just that little bit that will avoid the scrubbing while turning. And it will make it fix and plus they're very easy to to remove I will not put them between the movement and the dial otherwise it will be too too high They will go like this. And before fixing them, I will eventually talk with the customer to see if he agrees on what I'm doing or if he has other plans regarding the dial to source an original dial eventually or an, uh, a better made aftermarket dial so this makes the end of this video hope you liked it uh, like if you dislike like if you like sorry dislike if you dislike and don't forget to watch my page www.onlyvintagewatches.com uh, I am a little bit baffled. Okay, bye bye.